On the rocky slopes of the mountainous Mediterranean backcountry live chamois. Vultures and crows fly overhead. And here too is home to small populations of a rare and protected butterfly, Papilio Alexano. The Alexano butterfly is the only one in France that spends the night with its wings open and antennae positioned parallel and pointing forwards, often resting at the bottom of an embankment or cliff. And as soon as the butterfly has warmed up in the sun, it flies off to feed. This beautiful butterfly flies in one generation between mid-June and late July. In France, it lives in very small and localised populations in the southeast. It loves warm limestone sites, dry, stony or rocky from 600 to 1500 metres in altitude. Males patrol above the rocky slopes, systematically, relentlessly inspecting flowers and host plants in search of females. Males briefly chase other males, or white butterflies, in a twirling flight, and sometimes confuse their own kind with two similar related species of the same Papillonidae family, such as the scarce swallowtail, Ephiclides podalirius, and the swallowtail, Papilio macaon. In Greek mythology, Machaon and Podalirius are the sons of Asclepius, god of medicine. And Alexano is the son of Machaon. From time to time the male drinks to regain its energy. Alexano shows no interest in brightly coloured butterflies. Mid-June, a butterfly is about to emerge. To free itself from the chrysalis, the butterfly pumps its body fluid, the hemolymph, towards the head, creating pressure which causes the breaking of a triangular sheath enclosing the legs and antennae. While continuing to pump the hemolymph, the butterfly frees its legs, then completely releases itself from the chrysalis. During the following minutes, the butterfly is extremely vulnerable because its new exoskeleton is still soft. And it's a female. It spreads its wings still under pressure from the hemolymph.
once its wings have dried, it relocates and rests. The meconium is defecated. It contains the metabolic waste produced during metamorphosis. After an hour, the female flies a little way off and lands on a stem. A male flies over, but doesn't notice her. Almost certainly, the female releases pheromones. And after about half an hour, a male spots her and the nuptial flight can begin. The two butterflies land on a plant and mate. The female is in the upper position. And after about three quarters of an hour, the male flies off. Then the female leaves and drinks for the first time. Alexander prefers to feed from pink or purple flowers. Once fertilized, the female lays single eggs on the umbels of Ticotis, preferentially on those in bud or early bloom. Seemingly choosing with great care which umbels before laying her egg. The egg measures about one millimeter and is pale green in color. Egg incubation lasts about a week, during which the egg turns from pale green to golden yellow. But the day before hatching, it becomes transparent. At dawn the next day, a caterpillar nibbles a passage to freedom.
it feeds on the egg coating, rich in protein. The young caterpillar, just three millimetres in size, goes in search of host plant flowers on which to feed and weaves silken thread along the way to secure itself. These young caterpillars are sometimes prey for spiders. After a few days, the caterpillar undergoes its first molt. A few days later, the caterpillar has really grown and feeds on the flowers. When disturbed, the caterpillar erects its osmeterium, a yellowish reptile organ which gives off a repulsive smell. This caterpillar is ready for its third molt. The colour of the legs and head quickly darkens. After each transformation, it feeds on its previous molt. At this stage, the caterpillar feeds on the flowers as well as the stems. The growing caterpillars have a voracious appetite. Chamois feed on Ticotis, one of the main host plants of Alexano. This caterpillar has been lucky. The caterpillars rest from time to time. It's possible to see caterpillars at different stages on the same plant. Here, a stage two caterpillar, and behind it, a stage five caterpillar. Like real acrobats, 
The caterpillars use their abdominal legs to cling to the stem and hold on, and use their thoracic legs to hold the stem in order to eat the most nourishing flowers. Eventually, the caterpillar leaves the host plant in search of a suitable site to prepare its metamorphosis. It may travel great distances to find an ideal place. This must be hidden away from sunlight, the damp and snow. The next day, in this place sheltered under a big pile of stones, the caterpillar spins a silken belt to secure its position. and slips into this safety belt, which will keep the chrysalis in place. And two days later, the transformation into a chrysalis begins. The belt is held by two small hooks.
the chrysalis having a flattened shape, a grey-brown colour and a granular texture blends perfectly into its rocky environment. Another caterpillar is positioned on the ceiling of its shelter. The chrysalis hibernates motionless until spring. But during this period, significant physiological changes occur inside. Mid-June, a butterfly emerges. The butterfly adjusts its proboscis and dries its wings. It's a male and once warmed up by the sun it flies a little further it's to go and feed. But when the weather worsens, Alexana remains fixed on a flower and waits for the sun to return in order to warm up again. Here below, a swallowtail also motionless on valerian. The hummingbird hawk moth is less bothered by falling temperatures. When a fly passes, the swallowtail flies off, followed by Alexanor. Although Alexanor is on France's red list of protected species, isolated populations in the south of France are still threatened by collectors. Thankfully, more and more butterfly enthusiasts are exchanging their nets for the camera and choosing to record their sightings on film. The survival of this beautiful and exceptional butterfly is important if we are to preserve the colour and beauty on our mountain slopes for the future.